Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Saturday and it is booty day. Best day ever. No one is at the gym right now. So, it's gonna be a great workout. Um, it is currently 4 p.m. almost, I think. Let me check. It is 3.41 p.m. So I'm working out a little bit later than usual today. It was Saturday. It is Saturday, it's not one Saturday. It is Saturday, so I spent most of the morning cleaning my house up because I have three dogs and it gets very messy and hairy. So I did that this morning, organized. I also had a dining room table delivered, which is super exciting. My house tour video is coming soon, so that's really exciting. It'll probably be out before this video, to be honest with you. Um, but anyway, that was kind of a long morning, and then I ran a few little errands before coming to the gym. But I'm ready to go, motivated. I put up some, put on some pump up music, so I'm ready to go and do the damn thing. Maybe I'll have some wine tonight to relax a little bit. We'll see. But anyway, I don't know why I'm blabbering on. Let's get on with the workout. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. And thank you for continuing to watch my videos. I do appreciate it. Please make sure that if you enjoy this workout and you wanna see more like this, you give it a thumbs up for me. It really helps show me that you like these videos and show me a little bit of love on them, so thank you. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Again, help support me in the channel and I appreciate it. And last but not least, please don't forget to follow me on my other social media channels. Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. And come say hi, and it'd be great. And yeah. So I'm going to start off with a 10 minute warm up on the Stairmaster. Watch a YouTube video. And then I'm gonna do my usual glute activation and warm up stuff. I will link my warm up, one of these corners, because I filmed the actual warm up routine. I just don't like putting it in every single video because I think you guys get sick of it. So go check that out if you're interested in what exactly I do. Also, I'll link my glute activation guide below. Basically, the glute activation just helps your booty fire up before you actually start working it. Um, typically, a lot of people, when they're first starting working out, they don't realize that they're using most of their quads rather than their booty, which is what they really want to kind of work on. So if that's you, make sure you check that out. I definitely recommend it, and it does make a big difference in your workouts. And yeah, um, enjoy the workout, guys. I love you and I'll see you next time. Hey guys, I'm here with another voiceover. Um, the entire workout is going to be listed below in the description box, of course. So we are going to be starting off with a superset. We're going to, uh, we are going to be doing banded hip thrusts. Um, I have the barbell pad on here and then I also have the bands, which are the MB slingshot bands. I will go ahead and link both of those below in the description box if you're interested in purchasing them. But basically, you're going to make sure that you're pushing through with those heels, really squeezing the glutes at the top. Almost think about tucking your hips under when you're squeezing. Um, um, and then we're going to super, th uh, super set that with some jumps over the bench. Um, basically, this is more of a fat burning booty workout, more of a higher intensity kind of a cardio workout. So we are going to be adding in some cardio movements. And this is one of them also will be burning your quads and your booty at the same time. Get it all in and you're going to have a great workout. For these, if this is too high for you, you can start off on something lower as well. Um, with the hip thrusts, again, make sure that you're pushing through with those heels. You should be able to wiggle your toes the entire time. Um, yes, so focus on tucking those hips under, pulling that chin in, and squeezing those booty muscles at the top for two seconds. Alright guys, next we're going to be doing a tri-set, so we're going to be doing three exercises back to back and then resting. So we're going to be starting off with sumo one-armed dumbbell squats. For this, you're going to focus on having a wider stance, you're going to focus on keeping those knees out towards your pinky toes, keeping that back straight and really pushing through with those heels, keeping those glutes activated the entire time. Um, for this exercise, if it bothers you, you can always just do regular sumo squats with um, both arms down the middle. And then we're gonna go straight into RDLs with the dumbbell. Again, for this, you're gonna to wanna to focus on pulling through with those hamstrings, actually pulling up with your hamstrings when you're coming up. You wanna get a nice stretch in there. If this seems to be too, um, if your hamstrings are super stretched, you can also get on top of a 
um, box and do it with a barbell if that is what you prefer. Um, and then we're going to move straight into jump squats. So this is definitely a killer tricep. Um, my quads were burning after this. My booty was burning after this. It's just a great workout and it really gets that heart rate up and it gets that fat burning. And then again, we're just going to be doing that again in super speed right here. Um, really, again, the main thing for this exercise is focusing on keeping those knees out towards those pinky toes and not letting them concave in. Moving into our last tricep, again, doing all three exercises back to back and then resting. We're gonna start off with some split squats. For these, you can have your foot flexing back or you can also have it resting on the bench. I prefer it like this. Obviously, I can feel like I can balance a lot better. You can use dumbbells, you can use kettlebells, whatever you prefer. I believe I was using a set of 10 pound, um, 20 pound dumbbells. So you're basically just going to focus on, again, pushing through with that front heel into that booty cheek and keeping those glutes activated the entire time. This uh, uh, this exercise can be a little awkward at first. It's still awkward for me. Sometimes it's very hard to balance as you can see sometimes. So just take your time with it. Um, don't get frustrated if you fall over. Um, again, just take your time with it. And basically we're going to be doing reps like this. You're gonna do eight to 10 reps like this and then you're going to move, you're gonna drop the weights. And you're gonna move straight into the jumping ones. If you can't do the jumping ones, don't worry about it. It's definitely very difficult even for me so don't get discouraged if you can't do that and then we're gonna move straight into jumping lunges your quads will be burning your booty is gonna be burning probably even your hamstrings are gonna be burning and your lungs and your heart so it's just a great overall workout and I was pretty sore after this I didn't think I would be because I didn't do anything crazy heavy but again the high reps are really what we want to focus on for building that booty and I actually really love this workout so guys, that's going to be the end of this voiceover and this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it, and please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and of course, subscribe to my channel. Bye guys, I love you, and I'll see you next time.